Hello and uh, welcome. So today we are going to go over how to create a turntable. So what we want is we want to get an end result like this. So I'm going to take you through the steps one at a time. All right, first thing we're going to do is we are going to start from scratch. Go to our perspective camera here. Uh, zoom out some crazy looks to it so that everything uh, starts basically from scratch. So let's put my light here. All right. So first things first, when you want to create a turntable camera, you need to select all of the objects that you want to be within the turntable camera and hit F. So what F does is F zooms in the camera to the objects that you've selected. And you could change your angle and hit F, it'll zoom it in accordingly. I want my camera to be looking slightly down. So I'm going to hit F, um, I think like this. Let's also hit our resolution gate so we can see what the camera is actually seeing. So right now this is our perspective camera. I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit and move it up just a bit so that it is um, centered to uh, the camera a little bit more. All right, once I do that, I'm going to take away the resolution gate. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to actually create our turntable. And um, to do that, we are going to go to the animation menu here. So here's the drop down. We're going to go to visualize, create turntable options box. I'm going to reset the uh, settings for the options box so you can see the default. And a um, couple things before you click turntable to create one. Make sure all the objects you want to uh, rotate are selected. So right now, every my entire mini environment is selected, and that's when I want the turntable to go around. So I'm going to keep it selected. Next thing is number of frames. Right now, number of frames is set to 24, and that means our turntable animation would only be one second long. I'm going to change it to 300. And then you can change the direction from clockwise to counterclockwise if you want. I'm going to keep it clockwise and hit turntable. So if you look down here at the bottom of your work window, you will see turntable camera one. So we have created a turntable camera, even though it seems like nothing happened. And we're actually currently looking through that camera. If we go over here to the outliner, we can see there's a new group. And if I twirl down that group, you will see the turntable camera is inside of it. The group itself is what has the animation on it. And if you go over here to the channels box, you will see a red uh, square or rectangle next to rotate Y that indicates keyframes. So I'm going to change the name of this group to G underscore turn table cam. Now that I've done that, I am going to test out my turntable. But um, if you notice down here, only 120 frames are showing on my time slider. So I'm going to type in 300 and make sure all 300 frames are showing. And you can see a little red line here at frame one and a little red line at frame 300. And this indicates uh, that there are keyframes here. And I'm gonna push play. Now my animation starts out slow and then it speeds up and it gets really dark on the other side of my turntable. So these are things that I need to fix. In order to fix this, the first thing I'm gonna do is grab my sun direction node and middle mouse drag it into my turntable camera group. When I do that and hit play, you will see now that it appears as if the um, light is not moving. However, the backside of my island is now lit. Really, it is moving. It's moving in conjunction with the camera at the same rate. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to the anim Windows Animation Editor Graph Editor. And if we select our turntable group, we'll see that we have some keyframes. This auto keyframe has an ease in, so it starts off slow and then it slants up. That means it's speeding up. And as it tapers off, that means it's slowing down. I'm going to drag select our tangent and change it to linear, which is this icon here. Or you can go to the graph editor menu, tangents linear. Now it will be at a constant rate. So if I push play, it's at a constant rate. That right there is how we create a turntable. Until next time, thanks. Bye-bye.